Hi guys and welcome to Golden Shred. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial here on how to install the Epoch mod for Armour 3. A few people have been asking how to do this and it's not as simple as just clicking a button to install. You have to actually do it manually. So I'm going to assume for this tutorial that you've already got Armour 3 installed through Steam. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to epochmod.com. Uh, any of the URLs I will post in the comment section. And if we just go across the forum, and up here is all you need to know about Armour 3 Epoch. So the very top one here is announcements. So this is the stuff made by the developers. So anything that they ask you to download here generally is, is pretty safe. So uh, we first need to install this launcher. So 0.1 Epoch launcher test. So we click this and we basically need to download this file which I've already done to save a little bit of time. So I've got it here, Epoch launcher. So just double click that and just run the setup. It shouldn't take very long. And here it is, your launcher, but you've got no game files yet. We need to go back and get the game files as well. So we're just going to go back and at the very top, patch 0.2 client download. So let's click this one and here it is. So you can download this in two ways, play with 6 or you can torrent it. I find it a lot easier to torrent. So I'm just going to open up views. You could use uTorrent or whatever you like really and I've already downloaded it as it's 790 megabytes I didn't want you guys sitting around for 20 minutes so let's just show that in folder explore it even and there it is at epoch that's all you need so what we're gonna do is copy that go to C and now we need to find our steam directory so wherever yours is locate it steam and then we need to go to steam apps common find your armor 3 one and just paste it in here give that a few moments to to load in but that's it once you've done this you're good to go a few more a little bit longer come in and there it is right so we just go back down to our epoch launcher it's a good idea to pin this to the taskbar because every time you run epoch you'll need to launch it through this and it's as simple as that. You click play and off you go. So thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.